in Anaheim, California. This is Convention TV at NAMM 2011. Hello everyone, I'm Jill Nicolini for Convention TV at NAMM. This is a very special highlights edition of our show that's being broadcast on the final day of NAMM here in Anaheim. Well, what makes it so very special is that we are simultaneously streaming this broadcast to desktops, iPods, and cell phones of all 11,800 readers of the Music and Sound Retailer magazine. We call it the Retailer's V Newsletter, the industry's first and only twice monthly video newsletter. If for some reason you haven't watched watched it at home or at work, well, get on it. What's cool for me? Yeah, it's cool. It's what I get to do. TV for all you NAMIs. All the time now instead of just at these shows. All you got to do is go to msretailer.com slash vnewsletter anytime, any day. It's very cool. All right, let's start looking back at some of the product news, people, and artists that were here in Anaheim the last three days. Take a look. Well, here's big news from Diadario. The company is acquiring percussion manufacturer Promark for an undisclosed sum. Diadario president Jim Diadario said the purchase was a natural complement for the company and would allow the Long Island-based manufacturer to further diversify its brand. Two family businesses getting together, and Maury and uh, Herb Braxton have been friends for years, and we're proud to have... Uh, uh, have the Promark brand as part of our stable of, of products and looking forward to a great NAM show and a great 2011. Speaking of mergers, Percussion Power Zildjian and Vic Firth are combining forces. Terms were not disclosed. Both companies will operate independently. Dealers are not expected to see any major changes. Zildjian CEO Craig e. Zildjian said similarities in business philosophies and corporate cultures made the merger a natural fit. Vic Firth said he has great respect for Zildjian and the merger offered a unique opportunity to leverage the company's respective leadership positions. Dean Markley has a special concert tonight and a huge product launch today. Robbie Montrose with the John Wettermeyer Band and other guests will be performing live at the Menage Anaheim Hotel at 1221 South Harbor Boulevard a little later on. To get your tickets, you need to stop by Dean Markley at booth 5710 or Ultrasound booth at 5705. And for the product launch, Dean Markley is reissuing its popular CD30 and CD60. Greg. Here, here's what I want to know. I know that 25 years ago, Dean Markley released the CD30 and the CD60 amps, which were very popular, but why the reissue now? Tell me, give me the lowdown. Well, um, we think they're needed. Um, they were great amps back in the day. We were kind of ahead of our time in the, back in the, in the 80s, and we thought, well, this would be a, a prime time to, uh, to re re-release some uh, all tube amplifiers. Same great tone, same preamp, same power amp, same everything as the older amps, just more reliable, better sounding, and probably a little bit less expensive, so even better. Eventide gets into the flow with the newest addition to its Stompbox line called Space. It's 12 of our best reverb combination effects taken from the H8000 FW and Eclipse V4 and some brand new magic, and we are very excited about it. Space marks the first time Eventide has manufactured a stomp box in a compact, roadworthy package. It offers tons of spatial effects, including basic reverbs, delays, and unique combination effects. We'll be back right after these messages. We didn't invent the guitar, we reinvented it. The Ovation Pro Series. We took everything we've learned about crafting guitars and challenged ourselves to introduce a new line that has it all. Legendary Ovation Tone, Craftsmanship, Durability, and Heritage. Then, we made it the most affordable line of Ovation guitars ever. The Pro Series from Ovation. It's the shape, it's the sound. Korg USA and HK Audio are proud to bring you Elements, the groundbreaking new system that combines the benefits of line array technology with portability and flexibility. Create your perfect system with just six elements. Experience Elements for yourself at the Korg USA booth. Our incredible history of working with Birch is approaching 40 years. The Birch legacy continues. Introducing Silver Star, Tama, booth 4634. Introducing Martin SP Lifespan Strings, treated with clear tone technology, bringing longer life to your SP strings. The same superior performance, the same natural tone, the same great feel. Long life with no compromises. Martin SP Lifespan, superior performance meets long life. 
come with me on a journey. Space, reverb, and beyond the new stomp box by Eventide. Novation is now shipping their new analog modeling synthesizer, Ultra Nova. It looks, feels, and above all, sounds great. See Novation's Ultra Nova in booth 6464. The Helix HD string is guaranteed to redefine your music with an innovative, hyper-elliptical winding process. Helix HD's engineered genetic string code genetically alters yesterday's string and provides a smoother feel with a brighter, more resonant tone. More mass, more tone, more life. Developed exclusively by the Dean Markley Music Labs. And remember, blue steel strings, where rock and roll is a mission. We are PV. Established in 1965, we have dedicated ourselves to all aspects of the music and professional sound products marketplace. From guitars and amps to the most sophisticated digital signal processing control systems found in some of the most recognizable venues around the world, our products are sold through music dealers and system integrators worldwide. We're PV, and we make you money by making the products your customers use and want. Stop by booth 5740. Hey, what's up? I'm Jack Black. You want to play? I didn't pick up air guitar until I was 23, and now I'm a rock god. Seriously, if you want to play music, don't let anything stand in your way. Learn how to get started at wannaplaymusic.com. Here's a new story that we picked up yesterday. Mel Bay has formed a new licensing division. The division is being led by industry veteran Julie Price. Licensed will be Mel Bay's catalog that features thousands of songs and recordings in many genres. Now, the company also created a song search and licensing website at melbay.com slash licensing. Music supervisors and all music users can now find the right song because the website allows them to search by genre, instrument, tempo, and mood. In addition, there is a quick and easy listening process. Essentially, it has a song search function, so if a, uh, a film or TV studio executive is looking for, um, let's say, exciting music, they can, they can select exciting or they can select, um, you know, mysterious or they can select 30 seconds. There are different parameters that they can look for and the website will return um, hits for them and they'll be able to sample the songs and then get in touch with Julie Price and go through the licensing process and uh, use the pieces on, on their, uh, their phone. Now let's get back to some earlier days of highlights at Convention TV at NAMM 2011. The VRM box from Focusrite is a headphone monitoring system featuring patent-pending virtual reference monitoring technology. The VRM box allows you the freedom to mix in your studio while using any monitoring headphones. Okay, Giles, I know that you guys are coming on strong this year. You got Novation has the Ultranova modeling synth and now Focusrite with the VRM box. Right now I'm really interested in the VRM box. Give me the details, get down and dirty, tell it all to me. Here's it in a nutshell. Right? You've got pro headphones, you need a pro box. And VRM box is exactly that. VRM box lets you hear your mix in different environments, through different speakers, all from the comfort of your own headphones. So it's a unique headphone monitoring solution. Uh, it also sounds great. So it's a mobile solution. You plug it into your laptop and suddenly your pro headphones sound good. Casio is launching four, that's right I said four, keyboards intended for live and studio musicians alike. The WK6500 and the CTK6000 offer new tones and rhythms, a larger backlit LCD display, and a 17-track sequencer with editing tools for creating new sounds and music composition. Also released are the new WK7500 and the CTK7000, which can both record audio. Mike, okay. I know that Casio is releasing the WK7500 and the CTK7000, which both can record audio, which is really cool. And, but I want to know what other special features do these guys have? Well, both of them feature over 800 onboard sounds, 250 rhythms, a 16-track sequencer, and an organ draw bar mode. Whether you're performing live or sequencing, you can capture everything you're doing as audio. The newest addition to Schechter Guitars' Damien line is the Damien Riot. The guitar features a maple bolt-on neck with black pearl batten lays and an evil satin black finish. The horns in full cutaway allow easy access to the upper frets, while EMG pickups and string-through body design deliver hard-hitting sounds.
Now I've heard of a red hot product, but this one is white hot. Pioneer has made a fashion statement by introducing a pearl white version of its CDJ 350W digital media players and DGM 350W two channel mixer. The CDJ allows users to create DJ performances with various digital music files, including MP3 and WAV. So we have a scratch platter right here. And uh, here's the four effects sections on the DJM. There's a noise effect, short echo, the jet effect, and also a low pass filter and a high pass filter. And right here, I have the ability to record my set. I simply press the record button, and now everything that's going through the mixer, whether it comes from the player or the microphone, is being recorded on this stick. So you want to record your set in a bedroom, a wedding, a club, whatever it is, you can play it back instantly or even put it in one of the players and play it back from there. It's an awesome setup. It comes in black and as you can see here, stunning white. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned for more NAM Highlights news right here in Anaheim. For this guitar, which I've, I've had a real difficult time uh, trying to find a proper amplifier for, this one really holds its own. It's extremely accurate. Um, it can deliver the most minute details of what I'm playing, and it produces the guitar's harmonics really well. I love my Ultrasound Pro 250. I really dig the Ultrasound Pro I just love the Ultrasound Pro 250. Denon DJ, with 100 years of electronic experience, has released yet another product that is DJ's talking. The new DNMC 6000 all-in-one MIDI controller features an independent 4-channel 8-source premium digital mixer. It also works out of the box with virtual DJ and tractor and can even be used to mix video on the fly. Check it out at Denon DJ, booth C4242. DJing is a skill. Do it better with Denon DJ. Hey, Funkateers! Uh, Bootsy Collins here, baby. And I heard you want to play bass. And you want to be cool then you need to check out my DR Strings. DR Strings, see you there. Earthworks is celebrating its 15th anniversary here at NAMM with the world's first high-definition vocal microphone, the SR40V, the FM730 FlexWand High-Def Integrated Mic System, and the winner of this year's Tech Award, the PM40 Piano Mic System. Stop by Earthworks at booth 6290 and hear about their unrivaled 15-year warranty for all new purchases. Play MIDI with any instrument, guitar, bass, saxophone, theremin, you choose Sonus I2M Music Port, booth 5990 Hall B. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara. I'd like to invite you to see the all-new PC-controlled wireless mic system, top-of-the-line wireless in-ear monitor system, automatic mixer with video sync and switching, studio mics, and introducing the new full-line distribution company, Housebang Gear. Welcome back to the Highlights edition of Convention TV at NAM. This program is independently produced by Tessa Communications, the publisher of music and sound retailer, DJ Times, sound and communications as well. TV at NAM is transmitted throughout convention hotels and on the floor of the show 24 hours a day with a brand new show each day. Of course, we thank you for watching and oh, please remember to tell your associates to check their emails or go to msretailer.com slash vnewsletter and continue to get the latest MI product news and sometimes even gossip, which is not available anywhere but here on the Retailer's V Newsletter. With over 5,000 viewers each month, it's the industry's first and only twice month video newsletter and it's actually brought Broadcasting concurrently with this show. So now I get to be on air all the time, not just at the NAMM shows. A keyboard is designed specifically for those playing live gigs. Now this is an interesting story. As you're looking at it, you can see that all the basic flavors of sounds are covered. You've got acoustic pianos, electric pianos, organs, and they're all categorized right here. When you want to play one of them, you just push the on button. And the really cool thing is when you want to combine them, make a layer, you just push more than one button at once. Layering and splitting is very, very easy, and there's dedicated effects. So if you need a phaser or a flanger, you can just call it up, twist the intensity up with the knob here. There's a dedicated three-band EQ, and it works uh, with your computer as well. So you plug it in with USB, and you've got instant, instant access to it from your favorite DAW. The 61 key PS60 also gives the onstage musician dedicated control over most every essential function. And of course, it's lightweight, making traveling a cinch. Want a podium microphone for a house of worship, lecture hall, theater, or government facility? Well, Earthworks has its new and improved Flex Mic series launching right here at NAM. The Flex One has a 30 to 30 kilohertz microphone cartridge in it, which is like 
uh, unbelievable, and it's maximally flat, you know, plus or minus one or two dB over this 30 to 30 hertz range. The form factor we have in this allows it to be used, uh, extended up to seven feet tall, uh, say for doing a, a drum overhead or a choir, or uh, at a 90 to do like a lectern, or uh, down to a, as low as a foot and a half for making a, a high amplitude source like an amplifier. It will take 145 dB before distortion, or even something very delicate like a bassoon or an oboe. Whether you're a fan of blues, country, or metal music, check out Fender's Factory Special Run G-Deck 330 Practice Amps. The blues is blonde with oxblood grill cloth, and it's loaded up with backing loops and presets that are appropriate for blues, R&B, soul, jazz, and those kind of styles. We've got the new uh, western-covered uh, country G-Deck, which is loaded up with chicken picking stuff, rockabilly, southern rock, that kind of thing. And then we've got one for the metal guys. It's covered in winter camouflage, and it's got artists in there that contributed loops uh, from some of the heaviest bands like Whitechapel and Gojira and Sepultura, uh, also as well as some punk and hard rock styles. Here's some breaking news only on Convention TV at NAMM from CF Martin. As of right now, the company will use Martin SP Lifespan acoustic guitar strings on the majority of its production guitars. Jill, if you remember, these strings made a huge splash on the market last year. Now, the strings are manufactured at the company's facility and then sent to Everly Music for treatment with special clear tone technology. Tim, tell me, what does this, this special clear tone treatment offer your customers? Mel, it really does a great job of preserving the natural tone and giving the natural feel of an acoustic guitar string. There's no more compromises in terms of putting a coating on a string and losing that tone out of the box, that freshness you get, and it preserves it for longer than a standard string. It's a phenomenal new product. Before we go on a break, I can honestly say this product is the bomb. I'm talking about Behringer's iNuke series, the dual channel rack mounted power amps, which are categorized under the larger umbrella company called the Music Group, pack some serious punch. DSP models include delay, crossover, all controllable by your computer or on the uh, screen that's built on. What's also really cool, even the models without DSP, is that they're all lightweight. We have 1,000 watts, 3,000 watts, and 6,000 watts, and the highest model is under 12 pounds. Okay, Jill, I'm hanging right now with Paul Damiano. He is the Senior Vice President of KMC Music. Paul, here's my question for you for, for this year's NAM. Talk to me a little bit about how you felt at the end of last year and what your feelings are heading into 2011. Well, the, uh, of course, last year was on the heels of 2009, which was a really tough year for everybody in the music business. So we were hopeful that 2010 was going to be a, a good year. You know, in, in most respects, it was a good year. It probably wasn't as good as we had all hoped, uh, but, you know, we came out pretty good by the end of the year, a little ahead of what we had done in 2009. 2011, actually, we're all very, very optimistic. You know, we really, even at the show, all the dealers we're talking to, everybody is starting to talk about 2011 as the big comeback year. Um, are we going to get back to where we were in 2007 and 8? I don't know.